Right now, ISIS is attempting a new land grab in northeastern Syria, but there are concerns that Afghanistan could be next, especially with the scheduled drawdown of American troops there. Iran is a massive expanse lying between the two countries, as you can see. But the fear of ISIS is so great that, according to reports, renegade militias in Afghanistan are forming to combat the terror group if they pop up there. Ben Collins is a U.S. Army Special Forces veteran. Uh, Green Beret, he served three tours in Afghanistan, so he's obviously very familiar with that part of the world. Ben, why? Why would ISIS set their sights on Afghanistan? Afternoon, Jenna. Uh, well, I, I think, you know, look, Afghanistan is known as the graveyard of, of empires for uh, actually a very good reason. So if you look at history, you know, Alexander the Great, Genghis Khan, the Persian Empire, the British Empire, uh, the Soviet Union, uh, pretty much every empire that's come through to try to subjugate the Afghan people is, has failed. And there's a reason for that. There's 14 major tribes and a number of sub-tribes. And if there's anything in Afghanistan that can actually bring everybody together, it's this concept of foreign invaders. So I think that, you know, al-Baghdadi, uh, when he came out and, and they included Afghanistan in their caliphate, um, you know, you, you might think that in, in concept that it might... Uh, tend to, to work with the Taliban concept, but it actually goes quite against it. So they're fiercely independent as a people, and they're going to do, I think, pretty much what they can. Baghdadi, um, by the way, know, is the, uh, the reported leader of ISIS at this time. Yes. When we look at the map, though, Ben, obviously there is a major uh, country lying between um, uh, Syria and Afghanistan, and that is Iran. As someone that served in Afghanistan, is this, is this high on your list of concerns about ISIS getting into Afghanistan? Where, where does it fall as far as priorities? Uh, look, to, to be honest, it, it, at least in my mind, I, I don't, I don't really at this stage, I don't. It, it's not a, a grand concern. Uh, I mean, Afghanistan. You know, if you look at Afghanistan, right? It's it's something like a thousand miles away from you know the Iraq, the the, the Syria. You know, they, they they were fairly strategic in what they've done so far. You know, they've captured oil fields, right? Um, because of the, the revenue generation that occurs there. There is no such thing in Afghanistan. Um, so I, I think what we're seeing really is just a lot of reflagged efforts, right? So you've got people that are uh, probably not very happy with the Taliban. They're certainly not happy with the government. Um, they see uh, what's going on there, and it's giving them, them some credibility. At the same token, uh, Jenna, I, I, you know, if you look at the numbers themselves, 4,300 Afghan soldiers were killed last year. 4,600 Afghan soldiers were killed this year. So I think there's this growing understanding, at least within the Afghan people, that the government is, is slowly losing the ability to protect them, especially with the pullout that, that this well, administration and, and that, is all but. That goes to a, a larger point then. Let's talk about that. I think one of the reasons why this headline is particularly catchy about ISIS going into Afghanistan is because the same question that was raised about Iraq is being raised there. If we pull out completely there, are we creating some sort of power vacuum where even more terrorist groups are able to, to get in on the ground and potentially plot against the United States. What do you think about these reports that we could slow the withdrawal that we had already put in place in Afghanistan? What difference does that make? I, I think it would make a huge difference, right? So we, we do have a contingent that's there. They're conducting a lot of uh, kind of counter-terror operations. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a special operations fight. Um, I, I think that uh, with a new president, um, Ghani, that's been in, uh, been in place, I think relationships between Afghanistan and the U.S. are, are, are actually going to improve. Um, and I think everybody's starting to see that uh, such, a, such a quick withdrawal that's already been laid out by this president would, would, be, a, would, would be a mistake. Uh, and as quickly as we saw Iraq destabilize, uh, it's my belief that Afghanistan would destabilize even faster. Uh, if we pulled out with, without, uh, w without leaving a, a country ready to take the fight onto themselves. Well, your opinion certainly matters, especially after the time that, that you served there. I'd like to ask you just a final question on this breaking news that we had at the top of the hour, which is that you have New York City residents being arrested because they were trying to join ISIS. That's the allegation. You know, we're talking a lot about ISIS going into some other countries, perhaps that could threaten us. But how concerned are you about ISIS recruits here at home? Very. Uh, you know, if you, if you look at the numbers overall, uh, ISIS has recruited something to the tune of 34, 3,500 Westerners. Um, so that, you know, that, that's the, the predominantly there is, is Europeans. And, and the relationship that we have with, with the, 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 at least the, the Western European bloc, you know, they can enter without a visa. So it's very easy for them to enter this country. Um, it's, I think it's pretty telling having these New Yorkers, uh, you know, finding this. Because, look, at the end of the day, ISIS is waging a very intelligent battle online. So they're reaching these kids through, you know, Facebook and, and, and other social media aspects. Um, so I, to me, it, it is a, it's a, it's a big, it's a big fear. Um, you know, we're, I, I think that uh, we need to do uh, a whole lot more, I think, to secure the homeland right now than what we're doing. 
It's a good reminder as we talk so many, uh, so many times about these issues far away. Uh, today's news is a reminder that uh, perhaps a big concern on our soil as well as you underscore Ben. Great to have you on the program. Thank Certainly. you so much. Thanks, Anna.